Today, we're making a panorama, so stay tuned. We're still using On One Photo Raw, and if you have never used this software a day in your life, check the description box below, click the link, get a free trial to On One Photo Raw. And by using that link, it does help this channel grow. It's an affiliate link, but it is no extra cost to you if you choose to purchase the program. So let me show you guys how to make a panoramic image inside of Photo Raw. Super easy, super fast, and there is a lot of flexibility for you in this program. So let's dive into it. Okay, so here we are inside of On One Photo Raw. The first thing you're gonna need in order to create a panorama is multiple images of your scene. Now, as you can see here, I have a scene of a cabin and a tree in the middle of what looks like it could have been a field or the woods. It was really a walking path, but that's beside the point. All we're going to do is click on our first image. And this was my actual last image. And so I'm going to hold down shift and click again. That's going to select all of the images in the range. Now, there's a few ways that you can get to creating the panorama. The first way and the way that I use uh, more often than not is by right clicking and then scrolling all the way down to about the bottom fourth of this menu and clicking on merge to panorama, okay? That's the first way. The second way that you can do it is by coming over here to the right hand side and clicking on pano. So I'm gonna click there and on one photo raw is pretty much thinking it's stitching these photos together trying to figure out how each of these things really interwork with one another to develop and ultimately produce a uh, composited image, if you will. So we'll wait for that to pop up here on the screen and then I'll fast forward to it. So before I go over the information inside the create your panorama window, just take note that your computer will take some time to create the panorama because we're talking about stitching together some large images. Depending on the number of images that you have in your panorama, the longer it may take and you know, depending on how strong your computer is. So just be patient when you're creating panoramas uh, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the fun that you can have with creating these things. Now, this is a very simple window, all right? Uh, you have type, which you have two options, or really three, but the auto uses one of these two. So really you have two options. Uh, so you're better off, I recommend using auto. Personal preference, I always do. The next one, but you can experiment with spherical and collage if you choose to. That's up to you. Now, edges, this one, I always recommend you either crop or you warp to fill. You can leave it on none and do your own cropping later on when you get to on one photo raw. Uh, that's perfectly fine too. But I like to get my crop right here in, in the panorama window right before I go. And then the next thing that you have is your file size. I recommend you leave this at 100%. You're gonna have an opportunity to export this image once you're done creating your images or whatever, your final image, and you can reduce the size in that. But when you go to edit your image, you're gonna want as much information as you can. So I recommend that you have the file size at 100%. And then the last thing is you get to choose where do you want it to be open? Do you want it to be open in the browse module, which is where we were? Do you want it to go to develop or do you want to go straight to the effects tab? I always go to develop. That's my personal preference. All right. And then uh, you can add panoramic metadata. If you have metadata that's inside of your image, then you should absolutely add the metadata. I'm a huge fan of adding metadata. So I'm going to click save and this is going to take us into our develop module after it obviously saves. 
So here we are inside of the develop module with our panoramic photo. Now, I don't know about you, but this just looks really cool. I love that I have so much going on here. Now, I have some things that I want to clean up in this image, but ultimately this looks like a really fun, fun image to edit. Now, before I got to this screen, it did take a little while and sometimes you'll get a weird looking screen. Just be patient and you'll get to the image. So there you have it. That's how you create a panorama inside of on one photo raw. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button. Give it a comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you plan on trying to do. Now, if you want to see the full video or the rest of the video of me editing the image, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and edit that if there's enough interest and I'll put it up. Now, if you haven't already joined the Free Will Photos newsletter, go to the description box below, click the link and you'll enter your name and your email address and I'll send you three free presets for On One Photo Raw. If you're new to Free Will Photos and this is the first time we're meeting, well, welcome. My name is Chris and I create content centered around helping new photographers learn how to get their inspiration out into the world and share their creative vision. If that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button and joining the Free Will Photos family. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.